7 Most Effective Psychological Tricks That Will Make a Man Fall in Love With You in a Month Works for Couples as Well Finding, keeping, and most importantly, receiving love back from the person you put your heart into is extremely difficult. Love is a mix of luck, chemistry, timing, and science. Yeah, there is science behind love, and knowing this can help you figure out how to make someone fall in love with you. But is it possible to make someone fall in love with you? However, love is more than just finding someone attractive and settling down. It's about compatibility and shared objectives and values. There are, however, some psychological methods you might employ to entice someone to fall in love with you. Nevertheless, I'd want to highlight that even if you use these techniques, you must remember to be sincere and honest about it. Otherwise, it will all backfire on you. So here are the seven most effective psychological tricks that will make a man fall in love with you in a month. 1. See each other on a regular basis. The more you see and run into each other, the more at ease you'll be. Isn't it simple? It's why the first time you saw each other, you might have liked him from afar, the second time you might have sent each other smiles, and the third time, you might have started up a discussion. Basically, the more you see someone, the more attracted you are to them. Try to run into him frequently. If you know he goes to the gym or a coffee shop, or if you know where he works, try to make sure you run into each other. Remember, the more you see each other, the more attracted you grow to each other, and the more likely he is to fall in love with you. 2. Make him feel wonderful. 80% of your conversation should be focused on him, not on you and your problems. He's the most intriguing, coolest, most masculine of the bunch. His voice and stories are a treat for the ears and eyes. If you have a crush on a specific man, make it possible for him to shine and he will feel extremely wonderful and want to keep coming back to you. 80% of your time together should be spent discussing how fantastic he is. Listen to him speak about his career, his objectives, and his childhood. Take him through his good memories, for example. There will be no discussion of your failures, health, or financial problems, nor are there be any profound discussions about your soul. Ask for his opinion, advice, or assistance. Interested and easy is the secret code for carrying out this trick. So here is the greatest trick to assist you to seduce the man you want. You cannot offload your problems onto another person at the start of a relationship. This is the first step in destroying a relationship, and it must be avoided. How can you use this approach if you're in a long-term relationship? If your relationship has gone cold and your spouse isn't hearing you, it signifies that the things you've been recently saying to him have been particularly unpleasant. If you want to be seen and heard again, learn to listen to and compliment your guy. If you have a friend or coworker who adores your husband, you must take precautions. This circumstance has two possible outcomes. You need to give more attention to your spouse and compliment him for being significant and powerful. Remember what our grandmothers taught us. If you receive some at home, you won't go for it elsewhere. Alternatively, for a simpler solution, get rid of the opponent or ask her to switch off those emotions and cease adoring and praising your husband. 3. Use body language to attract him. When you initially fell in love with someone, chances are you didn't fall for their personality. That's because first impressions and first sight are so significant. It's all about initial attraction and physical attractiveness is really important. Yet, it is not all about having the perfect body. In truth, there are several physical clues that have little to do with how you appear and everything to do with making him feel attracted to you. For example, pheromones, the way you smell, play a significant influence on attraction. It's completely unconscious, but it can mean the difference between a hello and something that lasts longer. So body language is another strong technique. Our bodies compensate for increased excitement by blinking more quicker. Do you see what I mean? Try fluttering your eyelashes at him and blinking more than usual to show him you're interested without saying anything. Another method to indicate interest is if you lean towards him or he leans towards you. People will lean towards the person on whom they are most focused, which is a terrific technique to show you're attracted to him while unconsciously conditioning him to be drawn to you. 4. Up the body contact. 
Do you want to understand why the early stages of a relationship are so enjoyable? It's because, at that stage, the relationship is all about lust and the hormones that accompany it in the brain. When people are in desire, their brains are flooded with dopamine, which is both enjoyable and addictive. It's what keeps you thinking about him all the time. Regrettably, that lust-filled, dopamine-flooded phase cannot persist forever. Yet, if you know what to do, you can keep those lustful hormones running in his brain. Try cuddling him a lot and keeping a lot of physical touches. Cuddling causes his brain to release dopamine and makes him feel warm and close to you, hence increasing intimacy. It will also cause oxytocin to be released in his brain, increasing his attraction to you. If you seem to lose men after a few weeks or months, this is the approach for you. 5. Build his adrenaline. The key to winning a guy's heart may be via his heart, but not in the manner you think. If you get his heart racing like he's been on a roller coaster, his brain is tricked into thinking his excitement is truly arousal at being with you. And this builds a far deeper connection between you than you may believe. I'm not suggesting that you jump off a flight with him, but you could. Yet whatever you do that is at least slightly exciting to him will stimulate him and make him think you are more attractive. This one is really straightforward. It doesn't have to be sky jumping. You may just participate in a sports activity with him, such as pick up basketball or tennis. If you'd rather relax, a scary movie or a highly competitive board game can do the trick. Get his heart rate up and watch the sparks fly whatever it is. Six, be vulnerable. This is perhaps the most difficult method since being vulnerable might be scary, yet nearly always works to make a guy like you. A man will find you highly attractive if you express your emotions and show him how vulnerable you can be. According to the findings of a study conducted by Illinois State University and California State University, Los Angeles on partner preferences in romantic relationships and friendships, expressiveness and openness are very attractive and significant traits that both men and women seek in their partners. Being your vulnerable self and showing them who you are may be quite appealing to a man. 7. Fill the void that's lacking. Research has proven that while seeking their perfect partner, men choose the girl who fills a hole in their lives. Humans usually draw toward those that are similar to them, but when it comes to dating, individuals also want someone who can strike a balance. If your partner has low self-esteem, be the confident and cheerful person he wishes he could be. He will be drawn to you unconsciously because you are all he desires you to be. Well, if you've been trying to make someone fall in love with you for a long time, the best place to start is probably assessing how you genuinely feel about this person. If you can discern that it isn't simply infatuation and that you envision a true future with this person, and if you both have mutual interests, love will naturally emerge over time as you two nurture a sense of intimacy, safety, and closeness. Hope this video helped. Thanks for watching.